All right, so I'm thinking I want to do something, you know, something trendy. Why? I have no clue. I've never really been a trendy kind of person, but uh, I feel like I'm going to do something trendy. And so I'm going to do a reaction video, which would really work a lot better. If I could, um, get this thing to angle down a little more. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, and no. Okay, so my reaction is going to be to today's uh, How I Met Your Mother. I've been watching this since I was in Korea, and I want to see how the damn thing ends. And here we go. Me, your mother and I were very close, and yet very far apart. I was living on West 82nd Street. She was up on West. Those kids are still the same age after she like seven, eight, eight, eight years almost. I was teaching architecture. Kids, you remember robots versus wrestlers? Forget everything you remember about robots versus wrestlers. This is robots versus wrestlers legends. Elderly wrestlers fighting old tiny robots in a wheelchair accessible wrestling ring. Why are we still sitting here? I got a big lecture. <laughs> I thought this sounded familiar, but that's right, I watched the preview for this. Ask me about this. You make a lot of those jokes. I'm gonna say, yeah, it was awesome. But you know the funny thing? Ted almost didn't go, but thank God he did because it was a great night. And then she and I will adjourn to the jacuzzi, where my fourth wife will be waiting for us, already warming herself up on the jet. So Robin's here, I'll tell you the rest later. But please do that story, you go anywhere. Hey, hey, hello. Here we are at the bar once more. What will I have to drink? You so ask. he's mm. talking about Minnesota tidal wave. What relationship she'll have after <laughs> Robin? Cocktail ever. Who invented it? You that ask. bodes well. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go order one right now with my head held high. <laughs> you want me to order? Yes, please. please. Thank you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I ordered girly drinks hey, when I when I drank. The secret I ordered. Every time I make a decision. Okay. They already entered, they already had the whole time travel thing with Marshall, but it's also like Ted's not exactly a um, reliable hey, Ted, storyteller. What did I hear slash remember about you not wanting to see robots versus wrestlers? Hmm, that's odd. A little early in the week for scalp check. Five tablespoons of sugar, a whisper of vanilla vodka. Okay, so it wasn't real, which I kind of thought it wouldn't be, but because they had introduced the whole time travel thing before, I'm like, there's a possibility. <laughs> However remote that it could actually Unless happen. I'm mistaken, the drink this lady just ordered is called the Minnesota Title. Barney. People were seriously now, arguing about the now, whole Ted. the whole Who ring thing. In Twenty hours from now, Ted. On oh, the ring on uh, Barney's finger, and of course it's not real, so I mean it doesn't matter. But yeah, it's funny. I mean, it's not real from within the context of the story. It's too. Two layers of not real. Meta not real. Let's mute this sucker. So basically everything that happens now is filler. Waiting until April 25th or April 20... Whatever, whatever April 20-something. When we finally meet the mother. So... Do I care about any of it? Not particularly. He did mention something earlier that I kind of was talking over and I only barely heard. That the the mother actually was doing something. She was, some, she was dating some guy at that time. <sighs> Anyhow. Everyone this is an old one. Cadbury bunny, only he brings delicious I Cadbury cream eggs. Cadbury well, cream eggs. That's the only Cadbury product that comes to the United States, but I remember in Australia, everything was Cadbury. They'd never heard of Hershey, but like, Cadbury, definitely. NCISLA, I've never seen a single episode of it. I still check for, from time to time with my mom about the characters in NCIS. Oh. Reaction video. Why don't you go in and look? Because there's you not much to react to. That, Robin. Lily, can you go look? Oh, I thought you wanted to dance your own battle. Ladies, put your blouses back on. I'm coming in. Ha ha ha! 
Marshall. I know this is a strange way to apologize, but I'm sorry I let Carl name your drink. You look stupid. Here's your spaghetti, and be careful with the meatball. <laughs> oh, shoot! That's the only time my father ever said he was proud of me. Maybe that's why I stole credit for your drink. Maybe that's why I needed to pour my heart out like this. Or maybe I wrote this so you'd be in here long enough for a lady to walk in, causing you to freak out and hide in the stall. <laughs> 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 Whoa, to... That's why. I forgot who that was. Excited for your first day? Yeah. Is that that was one of Ted's ex girlfriends? He's had so many that it's kind of hard to keep track of them. And I'm guessing it's not the crazy one because otherwise it wouldn't have played that music. It would have played like the kind of music rather than the oh music. I'm overprotective. Red socks. Who wears red socks? Yes, it's a good day for singing a song, and it's a good day. Gross. For moving on. Including those in key hiring positions, University of Phoenix can help connect you to a world of opportunity. Let's get to work. <laughs> what a load of BS. Oh, God. It's time to meet the family. I bore you. University of Phoenix. I thought your parents might be interested. Yeah, yeah. A new role, CBS Next. Check girl. I always meant to go back to that club and get her number, but I didn't. Oh, I remember the coach. Here she's girl. in this bar seven years later. I, I can't believe this. So wait, do you I can't believe they're introducing her? another oh, false yeah. false hope for for him. This is cruel. So next time I meet a guy who just goes around rushing to judgment, I'm gonna say, hey, that guy's being a real Carl. You don't know my last name. You've huh? been drinking here for years, and you don't know my last name. I will name every drink in this bar after you, if you can tell me my last name. Well, that just seems confusing. How will you know what people are ordering? What's my last name, Marshall? <laughs> okay, wait, so you're saying it's doomed completely? One of us is just guaranteed to get sick of the other and call it quits? You've been dating for a long time, Ted. Has it ever gone any other way? Wow, that's depressing. Yeah, he's wearing he's wearing jeans and a you know sweater. She's wearing like a dress. I understand. Dress or dress skirt and dress. And how would I try and stop you? I think hers is a little harder. Giant dancing. Life is short, and if you ever come across a beautiful, exciting, crazy moment in it, you gotta seize it while you can before that moment's gone. Ted. This moment already is gone. The whole Minnesota tidal wave thing happened five years ago. It's just a memory. And the rest of this never happened. Right now, Marshall and Lily are upstairs trying to get Marvin to go back to sleep. Robin and I are trying to decide on a caterer. And you've been sitting here all night staring at a single ticket to robots versus wrestlers because the rest of us couldn't come out. Wow. Look around, Ted. You're all alone. Oh my gosh. Kids, it's been almost 20 years since that cold April night in 2013. And I can safely tell you, if I could go back in time and relive that night, there's no way in hell I'd go to robots versus wrestlers. No, I'd go home. I'd go to my old apartment, see all my old furniture, my old stuff. I'd see my old drafting table where I sketched out my first building. I'd sit on that old couch and smell the Indian food cooking three stories below. I'd go to Lillian Marshall's place, be back in that old living room where so many things happened. I'd see the baby. I don't know if you can picture me holding your six foot seven cousin Marvin over my head, but back then I could. I'd go have a drink with Barney and Robin, watch them fight about their caterer or whatever it was they were fighting about that night. But none of those things is the thing I do first. You know the thing I do first.
this one really switched it around. This this is kind of like a Symphony of Illumination, not quite you know that intense, obviously, but. And exactly 45 days from now, you and I are going to meet. And we're going to fall in love. And we're going to get married. And we're going to have two kids. And we're going to love them and each other so much. All that is 45 days away. But I'm here now, I guess, because I want those extra 45 days with you. I want each one of them. And if I can't have them, I'll take the 45 seconds before your boyfriend shows up and punches me in the face. Because I love you. I'm always going to love you till the end of my days and beyond. We'll see. Can I help you? Oh, hey, it's uh, Lewis, right? It's okay. It's fine. Um, I'm in love with your girlfriend and uh, we're going to get married. What? Yeah. They can switch things around like that. Mr. Goldman loved his family a lot, didn't he, Dad? He sure did. Man, it, I remember. I remember the first time I finished watching Symphony of Illumination because I actually started watching it, and I thought, "Oh, this is kind of cool. It's kind of neat little trick where Robin sees, you know, the kids that she's gonna have in the future." Until the second time I tried to watch it, and I watched it to the end, and I'm like, "Holy crap! <laughs> this is so freaking sad." <laughs> And, um, obviously this one's not sad, although I'm getting a bad feeling about the way, the way he was talking to her at the end. I'm wondering if, if his wife is going to end up being dead before the, before the end of it. Like, when he's talking to his kids, his wife's going to be dead. You know, maybe she, she died ten years after they got married, or eleven or twelve or something, and, you know... He's telling them the story because he misses her so much, or something like that. I, I can see, I can see something like that happening. Because this, you know, in in so many ways, it's the it's the you know basic sitcom, but and then so many ways, it's not because they 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 play around with with order and they play around with with different narrative styles so much. I can see them pulling something like that. Anyhow, I'm looking forward to when the final thing finally happens happens, you know, when he finally meets her, and then the next season's gonna be there, up, leading up to their, their wedding, because they have to be pregnant by the end, <laughs> she has to be pregnant by the end of, you know, the next season, because obviously, you know, um, the year after that, uh, the, the daughter's born, but yeah, I'm kind of, just the way that that last scene played out, I'm wondering if she's gonna be, if, at the point that he's telling the story that she's already dead. Um, which would mean that, you know, the kids shouldn't be bored that way, but at the same time, it, it might have been, you know, a number of years since she had died, which, is, which would explain their boredom, you know. He might tell stories about her all the time, but just miss that one story, and they're tired of hearing stories about her, and there's, I mean, you know, obviously... They probably, I'm sure they, they, would, they would miss her, but yeah. Okay, point. guys, I've been waiting 20 years for this, just like we practiced. No mistakes. Ready? One, two, a one, two, three, four. Whoa, longest, for the longest time. Whoa, for the longest time. 
longest time. For the longest time. If you said goodbye to me tonight, there would still be music left to write. What else could I do? I'm so inspired by you. That hasn't happened for the longest time. I love all the surreal stuff in the show. Just because, you know, you know that obviously Ted's not telling the truth with everything he says, which is fine because it makes the story more interesting. And, you know, but yeah. I I was expecting right up until the end for this to be nothing but filler, but that end that end really got me and I'm I'm I think this is one of the better episodes. Again, you know. They pulled a lot of that and I like it. I like I've li I've never you know, there's never been a twist that I haven't liked. So that would be my response.